The annual DSV SA Rugby Legends Invitational is an opportunity to bring together rugby legends, Sala's sponsors and their guests for a day of golf and fun out on the Boshuk Golf Course. Springbok Atlas getting the guests there safe and sound with winemaker and raconteur Ken Forrester, the host for the day. Hi, Ken Forrester, and this is another tough day in the office. As you can see, we're surrounded by the splendor of Bosch Hook Country Club, certainly one of the quaintest, most beautiful golf courses in the country, and justifiably rated the best nine-hole course in the country. The guys here today, we've got SA Legends, their annual golf day. It's the eighth year in a row that they've been here at Bosch Hook, and we're proudly sponsored today by DSV, You've got the great Springbok legends, you've got businessmen, you've got sport, business, all coming together and all raising some money for charity. Everybody having a good time, having some fun. The boys are playing. As I said, it's another great day at the office. Besides vying for the coveted Sarlat trophy, there were some very generous prizes on offer, including a two-night stay at Springbok Lodge in the Nambiti Conservancy, which each member of the winning four ball would receive. Yeah, looking forward to the golf. Uh, not sure how my game is at the moment, but we'll soon find out. Uh, but hopefully I've drawn some good partners yet, so uh, they might be carrying me. Uh, I'm a bit worried what's in the back of this uh, cart there. I don't know if they're going to make it to the 18th hole, but uh, let's wait and see. Looking forward to it. This is our third year as the uh, title sponsors of the DSV SA Rugby Legends Invitational. We found that through our partnership with the SA Rugby Legends, we really have been able to sort of take our, our relationships with our clients to the next level. So it's twofold. You know, first and foremost, uh, we, we love what the SA Rugby Legends subscribe to, uh, what they do for the local community. Um, and on the other hand, it's again just being able to do something unique with our clients. We do the, 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 the Sani to see, um, we do this golf day. For Boshuk, it's been a, a really uh, uh, wonderful year. We were voted the best nine-hole course in South Africa. It's so great to see sports people coming back to put back into the, into the sport and, and they're all such wonderful people. They, they, they inspire you and, and I just hope they're inspiring our, our youth and uh, because they should be because they are really ambassadors for our country South Africa and for rugby. You know, whether you play in the era of the 80s or the 2000s or you know the modern day game now, you know there are principles in the game and, and uh, you know life lessons that we all learned that we all share and the, the commonalities between all of us. Um, and, and it's great to just chat to the guys and see what they're up to now after rugby and especially for someone like myself who's just retired to maybe get advice and chat to them about you know what it was like the first couple of years and what they experienced and uh, learn from that as well. Yeah, I think this is probably one of my favourite events of the year. You know, this this Sala Golf Day here at Boshuk, beautiful course with uh, all the, the corporates that have been involved with Sala over the last couple of years. And uh, the support that we get as legends is incredible and the work that the, that the South African Rugby Legends does is incredible. So to be able to celebrate that here with some old teammates and uh, make some new friends with the corporates that sponsor the South African Rugby Legends is just another privilege. Yeah, since joining SSG and li living in Johannesburg, uh, it's been a, a, a few more golf days than, than, than I'm used to. Uh, so I am swinging slightly better than usual, but uh, my index is not rushing downhill. You know? I still need to make the odd point. John also serves on the board of Sala alongside fellow rugby legend Mac Messina. And then it's all about us uh, again just touching base with our sponsors and making sure that you know all things are in place. But at the end of today, great day and I mean great people that are here. It's been awesome and um, we're going to do it definitely again. And I think each and every year, once again, it gets better. I think you know it's a nice opportunity for everyone, the guys that love the game of rugby, you know, uh, in, in my cut. Guy from Southie was uh, asking a few questions that the, uh, the general public wouldn't have insight to. So I think you know for that they get a lot of a lot of value. And you know us as uh, former rugby players, uh, guys that are in the corporate world now, we ask them for advice and we get some uh, some help from them. So I think it's a nice mix and it's a it's a, it's a good thing. And uh, you know, but then again, uh, it's all about 
what uh, what we can get out of the golf day and I think there's a there's a massive initiative behind it uh, we're gonna have an auction just now later and raise funds for a good cause so uh, hopefully we can uh, have a good night yeah so I'm playing off a three and we've got a 10 a 13 and a 117 so my weight <laughs> no that's 125 and um, so yeah, I mean, obviously I'm the best out of all of us, but um, yeah, not at the moment. I must be honest that they, they carry me big time. They've played really well first two holes, so I've got to up my game and uh, start trying to add some value. Yeah. Uh, nice thing though, this is with a college boy, and we have unfortunately two DHS boys with us. But that's good fun, good banter, and yeah, keeping the boys going. Also joining in the day was newly retired fly half Pat Lambie. Boshok is my, my home club. Uh, this is where I'm handicapped. Obviously being at school around the corner, um, spending five years in the neighborhood, I uh, got to spend a few afternoons um, on this beautiful course. Um, it really uh, gave us its best today. The course is in outstanding condition. We couldn't have asked for better weather. And it's really awesome to be involved in this SA Rugby Legends Golf Day, see some familiar faces, um, to network, uh, and really just to have a good time. Yeah, just home on a short break at the moment. Uh, still some admin and paperwork that needs to unfold and wind out in France for the next few months. Um, the, the goal is to, to be back in South Africa by the end of the year. Obviously our family, my wife and my, my families are both in Durban. Um, and with a little one on the way, there's a big pull to be back in South Africa. Home is home uh, and yeah, we look forward to settling back into to the life and the lifestyle in Durban. 2007 Rugby World Cup winner Albert van den Berg playing in the winning four ball. I was drawn with DSV, a um, bunch of nice guys. So we got together on the first tee and then started talking about handicaps and I'm at 18 and find other guys, two guys 18 and then there was a 14 handicap. And I thought, hey, let's go and enjoy the day, you know, nothing to lose, two scores to count. And then we started off playing the first nine, we cruised through and had a bit of fun and made a couple of points. Uh, we turned on the second nine and then suddenly one of the guys uh, drove the 11th and with his driver and he got onto the green and easy tap in for an eagle. And then the guys got all fired up and said, okay, now let's go and see if we can make some good points. And from there on, we actually ended up making 49 points in the second nine and managed to win this day. Fantastic first prize and Nambiti Game Reserve, Springbok Lodge. We're going there for two days, all inclusive. Really great prize for us. Looking, going to go and look at the animals, the big five. You know, it's two game drives a day. And I will really let my wife know and she's so excited about it. There were also lots of individual prizes on offer, as well as some special auction items donated by Ken Forrester. Just want to say a really heartfelt thank you and congratulations to all the guys who came here today the guys who paid to play, the guys that are helping support these charities and putting, you know, making South Africa a better place. It's so important that we all do our bit and to see this happening is just very, very heartwarming. And we'll be back next year for a great event. A big thanks to DSV for their support of the day and to all those that attended and contributed.